Welcome back. Let's look at using Excel to develop X bar and R control charts. Uh, you can see from the, the screen uh, here the, the data that, uh, that we're going to use in this example. The, uh, the data is from uh, this problem 20-20. This uh, data represents filling weights of coffee cans. And so let's uh, develop X bar and R control charts. You can see the formulas here for those charts. The, uh, the center line for the X bar chart is X double bar, which is the average of the X bars. The center line for the R chart is R bar, uh, which is the uh, the average of the, of the ranges. So let's start by just calculating the average for each of these. And then we can just copy this down and then the, the range which will just be equal to the max of these values minus the, uh, the min, the minimum of the same set of values, these five uh, observations. And then we can copy this down. And the X bar that uh, will be on the RX bar control chart and the, the R will be on our R control chart and we just find the average of these equals average average of the X bars we call X double bar and then we can really just copy it over find the average of these ranges and so there's the uh, X double bar and R bar which we'll need now for the X bar control chart, the center line is equal to X double bar. So I can just put a link equals to X double bar. I use the F4 key to make that a fixed reference. And then copy it down the page. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing with the range control chart. Uh, the, the link is R bar. Uh, again, uh, F4 key. and then copy it down the page. Okay, so now let's find the lower and upper control limits for the X bar chart. You can see it's our X double bar plus or minus the constant A2, which uh, in advance I found these constants from a, a table. Uh, the table is very commonly available. And it's indexed by sample size n, which would be 5. There are 5 observations. And so for n equals 5, a2 is this value, 0.577. So I can just say equals x double bar. And, uh, and freeze that. And minus the constant a2. Again, freeze that. Uh, and multiply it times R bar. And by freezing each of those references, the lower control limit is going to be a horizontal line, so it should have the same value in, uh, in all of those. And we could just copy this over and then change the, the minus to a, a plus. and then copy that down and that would give us our upper control chart limit. For the range chart, uh, lower control limit is D3 times R bar. Again, from that same table of constants, I uh, looked up and found this value based on sample size N. And then multiply that times the R bar. Then just copy it down. And then for the upper control limit equals the constant D4, fixed reference, times R bar, fixed reference. And then you can copy this down. Okay. Now we have the values for creating the charts. 
and so if we were to, to highlight this X bar range and then highlight the control limit range and go to insert and line and then we would get the beginnings of creating this uh, X bar control chart and so you can see the upper center line lower control limits and then our value for X bar X bar chart the name of the chart tells us what's plotted on the chart in a similar way we could uh, chart the the range chart highlighting the range and then the set of, of three columns here and that's it that's how we can use excel to create x bar in our control charts see you next time